<laughs> Mad Mike Sports, what you got for us? I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, we had that picture of K Styles that I, we, we, we said we were gonna start using. Oh, oh, I ain't got, hold on, hold on. Keep talking, keep, talk, get, keep, get, keep, get keep, keep, keep. Get that keep, for me, cause, keep 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 uh, talking. We're gonna get that going. I I I I see y'all gonna feel this. The reason why I think this is vital, and as you guys can see, Lamar who Lamar who Lamar who why the man might say Lamar who because there's a large portion of people that thinks that one particular player is going to make the difference in a team. One player has never made the difference in any team. You see, Steph needed Clay. LeBron needed a Kyrie. LeBron needed a Caleb. LeBron needed a D-Wade. LeBron needed a uh, um, Chris Bosch. <laughs> Chris Bosch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jordan need Pippen. Pippen need Jordan. We can keep going on and on and on again. So one player has never made a difference when it comes down to a winning a championship. We've seen teams like the Tampa Bay Bucks, where that defense was top notch, and I'm talking about top five for like five years in a row. They had like a stint where they was top five defenses every single year, but that offense just couldn't never put it together. But when they put it together, when they got it, you know, Brad Johnson, the running game with Warwick Dunn, um, um, uh, all stock and those guys, uh, I don't know if Warwick Dunn was there. there. But it will pit. Yeah, that's who. Yeah, I don't think. But when they finally got it together, they got together, but it wasn't that one particular person <laughs> that that put them over the hump. So the reason why I say, oh, by this God. right here, do 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 is this the one? Is this the one you talk about, Mike? Look, look, look to make sure is this the one you talk about? <laughs> hold, on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me see first. Let me see first. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> See, go ahead and click. That, that's <laughs> it. That's it, Mike. Go ahead and click it. <laughs> click, click. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> we, 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 make me, make me feel. This is what it's good. all about. <laughs> make me feel good. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're not here to make you feel good. We're not here to make you feel good. Okay. I'm not here to sell y'all a dream and say Lamar coming to Atlanta is gonna be the difference maker. He's not gonna be the difference maker. He's not even a damn difference maker on his own damn team. He can't make it to the damn Super Bowl, but we're ready to get him 40 something million dollars in our money. <laughs> and I say this over and over and over again. Why has it Baltimore given their guy that had two years to think about this? Everybody getting paid, but Lamar. Every quarterback. We got rookie quarterback. We got quarterbacks that are still in their rookie deal who got their money, but Lamar hasn't got. It. You got to really say think say to yourself why. Hasn't Baltimore given him the contract? That's the question that I have for you guys. That's one question that I have for you guys. And two, what is he going to do we ain't already doing? We don't see what a running game can get us. We had the probably, I'm I'm going to say already, we had the greatest running game. We've had the greatest running game of all time with Mike Vick, Warwick Dunn and TJ Duckett and that offensive line. I don't think there's a I don't think in the history of the league there's been a greater I don't think there's been a, a better offensive uh running game ever. Ever. 
And we're talking about totality. There has never been one more dynamic, more explosive. The Falcons had shifty. They had a shifty running back and were done. They had a power back in TJ Duckett. And they had probably the, well, the greatest mobile quarterback that the NFL has ever seen. The most dynamic athlete the league has ever seen outside of Deion's prime time. Sanders. So, again, what is Lamar going to do for us that we haven't already seen? That's the question. But the Lamar who part is going to pertain to one guy. One guy. Desmond Ritter. Everybody doing all this talking about Lamar bring in Derek Carr. I'm gonna need him to shut. What? What? Wait, what? What? Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> Derek Carr. Yeah, Derek Carr. Yeah, we got people out here saying the Falcons need to trade for Derek Carr. Yeah. So we're gonna see this. We're gonna see what Desmond Ritter is talking about because it, it's it's everywhere. It's on every platform, national local platform international platform is everybody saying lamar is headed to atlanta people even making up fake tweets saying that the falcons have already have a play uh, uh, uh a trade um that's already lined up for lamar and if i'm desmarina i'm taking that shit personal i'm taking it personal mm -hmm. Because I haven't even got started and y'all are already trying to get rid of. So if this kid is who we think he is, this is the game. These next couple of games is where he shut everybody up. And I'm looking to see that attitude. I'm looking to see that leadership. I'm looking to see this decisiveness. I don't care about all them rushing yards and all that, you know, um, highlight plays. I need to see a real true leader. Because one thing that I miss in Atlanta that Michael Vick gave us. This is one thing that nobody can deny what Michael Vick, that no quarterback, in my personal opinion, has ever had that confidence, that swagger. I'm that motherfucker. I don't think nobody had that swagger. You can, you can say Aaron Rodgers, but Mike Vick knew he couldn't be touched. He knew he was that damn good. You can see it in this. Even if he make a bad play, Mike Vick goes, oh, it's all right. I just, no, you talk to me this time. I'll I just run another 20, 50 yard pass on the uh, 50 yard run on the next. Uh, you know, oh, he dropped the pass? Oh, don't worry about it. I'll just throw it to the crumples. Mike Vick had that arrogance, that confidence. I don't think any quarterback is at. He knew he was the shit. So I need for Desmond Ritter. To have that same confidence. I don't give a damn about him being able to throw 80 yards. I don't give a damn about him being able to rush for a thousand yards. I need that arrogance. I need that confidence that I know I'm the shit. The Falcons, if they're going to be the true dirty birds, I'm going to need that Arthur Smith attitude. I'm going to do what the fuck I, I want, when I want, and ain't nothing you can do about it. So I need that. I need to see that arrogance. I need to see that Kobe Bryant. I need to see that Mamba mentality. I need to see that Jordan. You say what to me? All right, I'll just hang up 50 on you. That, that's what I need from my quarterback. I need my quarterback because as great as Grady Jarrett is, he doesn't exude that type of confidence, that type of arrogance that I need. Falcons need to get back to that type of ball. You see Jesse the Hammer, um, Tucker. One thing about Togo that I absolutely love is that he knew he was going to lay your ass out when he got a chance. He got near you, you're going to feel it. I need that from my defender. I love AJ. 
I love Grady. I love Troy Anderson. But I need attitude. I need arrogance. I need my quarterback. And I, like I said, I, lo I love Drake. But I need that arrogance. I need that for my players. And that's the element that the Falcons fan base is searching for. They're longing for. Uh, they looking for another Trey Young. That's called a lot of people hate Trey Young because he got that he got that arrogance. He don't give a damn about if him shooting for a damn high court. The coach tell him, uh, that's a bad shot. Yeah, whatever, coach. And go to the next play, shoot another motherfucking half court shot, and that bitch goes straight to the ball. That's the type of attitude that I need for my players. I'm going to do what, what the fuck I want, when the fuck I want, how I want. And I don't give a damn what the media says. I don't give a damn what the fans say. I need that arrogance for somebody on this Atlanta Falcons team. So fuck Lamar. Fuck their car. And fuck you and all y'all rumors. I need for Desmond Ritter to show us what the fuck he got. Step up or get stepped on. 